Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel for today's video I am back at it again with another makeup tutorial so this is my drugstore makeup tutorial so I can say this is my drugstore get ready with me but this is a voiceover edition and can you believe this entire face bit did not cost me anything more than $75 I don't even think it cost me anything more than $50 but with that all being said I just want to let you guys know you can't look gorgeous with just drugstores drugstore products and that's exactly what I got going on here so with all my rambling and everything I'm sure you guys really want to see how I came up with this look. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, my loves. For today's video for my primer, I'm using the Heart Candy 12-Hour Envy Share Primer. And I'm just rubbing that all over my face. You guys already see my eyebrows are done. I can never do that on camera. So please don't ask me or else I want to do eyebrow tutorial. For my foundation today, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in N8, which is a cappuccino. I really like this foundation. It is lightweight. You guys will see as I start blending in it, it does not even look like I'm wearing foundation. I didn't want to go too heavy on the foundation. I just wanted to go light. And excuse my light setting. I'm working on fixing my camera setting. So in my like, next two videos, you guys will see changes in light. For my concealer today, I'm using my Holy Girl Concealer, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. You guys already know I literally breathed the air this damn concealer walks on y'all really this concealer is just holy girl it's everything it's super affordable you can get it it's only three dollars at your local beauty supply store do not try to buy it on ebay or amazon they will fraud you they will give you something really bad i just read really awful reviews on it for my contour today i'm using my black opal foundation stick in black walnut and i'm just putting that where i usually contour I'm using a damp beauty blender. Remember through your makeup routine, always make sure your beauty blender is damp. Do not try to use a stiff up dry beauty blender. It will not blend anything and it will just be bad. For setting my concealer today, I'm using Laura Mercier setting powder because I do not have any drugstore setting powder. I only have this setting powder and my Sasha Buttercup and this gets the job done. So for my eyeshadows today, I'm using my Ella Girl Pro Concealer and Fun again to use as my eyeshadow primer. And for my eyes, I'm using the Miss Lynn palette. Yo, this palette is lit. I'm just going to go in. You guys already see the colors I'm using. I'm going to be pointing them out. But let me just go off about this palette. This palette is lit. Super lit. Like, lady lit lit. I'm going to just keep using the word lit because why not? Because it's lit. But for real, you guys see this palette. It's super duper 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 super pigmented i love the highlighter in this palette and you guys will see why i love the highlighter in this palette by the end of the video this palette is very nice i got it on bh cosmetics and it's super affordable it was literally i believe like between eight and ten dollars nothing more than that and if i'm wrong please do correct me but i will find try to find the link to this palette on bh cosmetics if they still have it i suggest you get this palette for a starter for your makeup because the highlight in this palette oh my god I cannot even tell you guys what the highlight in this palette has done to my life the past year that I've had this palette for. But this palette is super lit. For my lids, I wanted to go with something very, very light. And I'm using the light colors on the palette as my little champagne lid, whatever you want to call it. But it looks good. I didn't want to go something too heavy. I want to do something simple that anybody who is able to see you can see what I'm doing and how it's going but yeah that is it and I'm just brushing this off with a regular foundation brush brushing up my translucent powder because you know we can't be looking ashy up in this bit but yeah I'm just dusting that off and I'm going in with my Maybelline fit me foundation powder in 355 which is cocoa and I'm just putting that on all over my face eventually because first I just started putting on where I concealed or baked 
But then I ended up putting it all over my face because, you know, we got to be blended everywhere. Because we blended. But yeah, so now for my eyeliner, I'm using the, my e.l.f. eyeliner. If you are part of my Snapchat fam, you already know what I'm talking about. This eyeliner is life. I've raved on it on my Snapchat for so long. You guys already know this eyeliner is super lit. I've It's only $2.00. Yes, this eyeliner is only $2 and it's super duper affordable and it's so nice. Y'all see? Y'all see that? You see that? So I'm using the e.l.f. mascara as well. For this video, I didn't want to wear lashes, but if you do decide to do this look, you can't put lashes on. You can find lashes at either your local beauty supply store, Walmart. Very affordable lashes. You don't have to go with something crazy, but... I have long lashes, not really long lashes, but I have lashes, so I just wanted to put mascara, and I just quote the mascara a lot, like, a lot. So for my blush, I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette, and I'm just going in with the light brown color, and then I'm going to go over it with the reddish cherry blossom color at the bottom, and I'm just blending that bubble in on my cheekbones and on my nose, because you know I want to look like Rudolph. So for my powder contour, I'm using the Ruby Kiss Mineral Powder in Ebony I don't know why this contour powder powder is just lit and for my highlight you guys just see that do, do, do you see that do you see the highlight just look at my nose it's shining and my brow bone yes this highlight in this palette is super lit and then I go in with my ruby kiss highlight in bronze gold this is a dupe for the MAC gold deposit you're welcome thank me later but this is a dupe for it ruby kiss bronze gold for my lip I am just using the same literally the same pencil I used to fill in my eyebrows I'm just using it as my lip liner and then I'm going to go in with my essence lip gloss and yeah that is all just lip gloss and I because I didn't want to do a lip color I was too undecided so I just went with a lip liner and lip gloss and for my setting spray I'm using the L'Oreal inflammable setting spray the setting spray is lit I really like it but I don't like how it smells like cinnamon and the cinnamon I don't like cinnamon. all right I hope you guys did enjoy this makeup tutorial I just wanted to show you guys that you guys can't do a face beat with just drugstore products because when I started my makeup journey all I had in my makeup vanity was just drugstore products nothing from Sephora nothing from Mac it was just simply drugstore products and I just wanted to share with you guys what you can do with just the drugs or things you can find at your local Walmart, Shoppers Drug Mall, Walgreens, CVX, and whatnot. If you guys like this makeup tutorial, give this tutorial a thumbs up. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Just in case you're not following me on my social media, I will leave that right somewhere below here. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram and just keep up with my amazing life. And lastly, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. Thank you for coming to my channel and checking out my video and if you missed any of my previous video click the link in the description box or click the link to my channel I will see you in my next video. Bye Mwah.